Hey guys and welcome to Lord C's Garage. Quick video today on rebuilding the carburetor for the LC. Some quite interesting things to go through on it, so let's check it out. So it's quite interesting, when I bought the LC it came with two engines and two carbs. And looking at them they were slightly different. Whilst the castings were the same, one was actually pre-painted black and it was obviously some very old black paint on it. I've actually repainted this now with some satin black to, uh, to make it look nice and sparkly. The other one was actually aluminium. Well, I think they're both aluminium, but for some reason the black one was much heavier. And when I go through the old pictures of the LC, uh, mine definitely had a black one on on its original engine, so that was quite interesting. Um, so it's the black one we'll be rebuilding today. Um, it's a Delorto MA16, um, I believe, that was on the LCs originally. Uh, fairly simple to, uh, to put together. The first step was to do some ultrasonic cleaning. What you find with carburetors when you rebuild them, um, as you can probably see just inside here, there's quite a lot of small internal ways within the casting which is almost impossible to get to uh, by hand. And actually the ultrasonic cleaning is amazing. The outside of this carb had already been cleaned up, uh, but actually when it went in the ultrasonic cleaner, it ended up looking like this. So here we go, here's all the bits um, for the LC. You can see the breakdown um, in the original parts manual here showing uh, how it all fits together. Fairly simple and pretty common to most carburetors. Um, I had a number of things uh, replated. The screws that hold the, uh, the float chamber cap on, um, they're actually quite a special little screw that has a shoulder on them to make sure you locate it properly. Um, so rather than replace it with new stainless steel ones, I actually had these re-zinc plated so they're nice and shiny. Same with the um, cable tensioner uh, on it, cable adjuster. Um, so again, those look nice and new. So let's go about putting this back together. Okay, probably um, first thing to get in is a float chamber on the right hand side, but there's a small jet sits diagonally just inside the small thing side here. You see very, very small. Um, so I'm gonna endeavor to drop that in there and hopefully get it in the right place. Really important to make sure that all this stuff is clean no bits or debris in there because that will just block the carb and uh, not allow it to work properly. Okay, so that's that one in. Uh, we've then got the main jet which goes in the bottom. Fairly simple threading in there. These are all the original parts, um, generally from the carb. Um, I haven't really changed anything out uh, because there's no need to, it's all good, it's all cleaned up well. Um, so next thing, the main needle valve that goes through, um, that slots into here. What you might be able to see on this, um, there's actually a number of slots in it and it's really important that when you get it in, it basically just pops through the top. It'd actually help if I actually put it in the right way, which is across here sideways, and there you go, it's just clicked in. You see it's just poking out the top there. The needle itself can actually rotate once it's in there, um, so it keeps it nice and tight. Um, so that then basically drops down into the body. So with that facing out that way there, but you can actually just see um, some small marks on the side of the carb where um, that's gone through. There we go, so that's that that goes in there. Um, then we've got the, the tickler that goes over the top. There we go, that just drops straight down into there like that. Uh, and then we've got the screws on there nicely. Okay, now our cable adjuster that I've had replated, that just drops in there like that, really nice and simply. And there's a little locking nut on there um, once it's actually in the right position to lock it tight. Um, so then we just need to work through the other bits and pieces on there. Um, there's a cap that goes on the bottom of the float here. Now one of the things I have got is a new gasket set for this, um, Castle Ambretta B3B, uh, which provides various things including the seal uh, for the top of the float chamber and some new fibre washers for the two um, caps that go on here. So that drops simply on there like that, um, screws up, just nip that up nice and tightly there. So that's that one. Um, next, uh, I think we will put the float in. So the float itself, you'll see has a, 
pin on here. I have actually tested this float uh, in water beforehand to check that it um, there's no perforations on it and it's working properly. Um, that drops down there into there. Um, and obviously the needle then goes up into the top uh, to stop the flow of fuel into there. So we can pop that on there with a new gasket um, just to seal it because they will weep pe petrol if you, uh, you don't get a gasket on there. So get that centered in the middle there, gasket on there, and our two nice new plated screws go in there and secure that in place. Okay, nice and sealed up. Okay, one thing I've actually forgotten, I always do, is in here there is a spring it's in there where the cable comes through. Drops neatly into there. So then we've got the fuel takeoff. I will actually end up with a new um, fuel hose on this one uh, because uh, I want the, the proper one. Gauze filter that goes over the top there, stop any rubbish getting into the carburetor. Um, and then your fiber washers on the top. And then that, that secures that all in place. So then finally, we just need to fit the um, two valves in the side. Um, the one with the flat top on it here, like this, uh, goes in the sloping one at the top. And then the needle valve, like this with the point on it, goes in the side there. You'll also notice I've also fitted the uh, clamp so it can clamp back to the body of the, um, of the engine. So there you go, um, one carb all ready to go. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, hopefully next video we'll be on to building either the engine or the gearbox. So see you soon.